Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Asawang Filipina here So ngayon naman is pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano mag emergency stop kapag may pangyayari sa harapan mo or may mga aksidente ang nangyayari sa harapan mo kapag ikaw ay nag-drive ng sasakyan but first of all may babasahin muna ako sa inyo sinento eh ng husband ko so pasensya na Nag-English, Bisaya at Tagalog. So, ngayon, English tayo. So, ang gagamitin natin para pang emergency stop is ang ABS. So, lahat ng mga sasakyan ay may ABS. So, ang ABS is an anti-block system. So, babasahin ko ito. Makinig lang kayo. So, it's an anti-block system what is mounted in all new cars. It means anti-blocking system and is a system for your brakes. Normally, you can brake just naturally like I showed in the present video. But there are situations that you need to emergency stop. Then you press the foot brake with full force and feel the sound vibration. Vibration. <laughs> Hirap, maging English. Then you press the foot brake with full force and you feel some vibration in the brake. And hear a weird sound. Don't be shocked. This is when ABS in the car sits in. So, the brakes are controlled by a computer which takes care that your brakes don't block. Keep the full force on the brake paddle and ignore the sounds and vibration. This is a normal process. The car is controllable because the wheels just turn slowly and gives the full brake force of the same time. You can also manage to steer to the left or right without losing control of the car. The car will stop very quick and reminds always wear seat belts. So we always have to remind to wear seat belts. So a car without ABS full brake force will block the wheels and the car slide in a straight line. So without that, your car slide in a straight line. Even with steering in this situation, the car still slide in a straight line and is in this situation uncontrollable to get grip with older cars just release the brake pedal a bit so that the wheels at the get grip again so that's what i'm gonna show later in the car so with abs uh, just keep the full brake force on the brake pedal until the car is fully stopped never release the brake pedal and the weird sound from the brake computer so for now is i want to you to know what is the meaning of the abs and what is the important of the abs so our car have that so hopefully you don't have to use this failure or feature but if you need it is in your car you can test it in a remote area with a traffic and make a full first stop mm -hmm. So that you can feel and hear what it feels like. The car will not damage for that. The car will not damage for that. In the dashboard, there are warning lights of the ABS. When you own the ignition with a car key, the ABS lights up with other lights. When its lights goes on, when you start the car, because sometimes like testing, just like what I said before in a previous video, First click, you see the red uh, sign. Then there's a car test. Then when you start the car, it must be off. Everything must be off. So when this light goes off, then your ABS is, is active. After starting your car and the ABS warning light still is on, then your ABS, ABS, your ABS is not active. So just make an appointment for a service dealer and let it fixed. You can still drive and brake the car but with a force full stop. The brake will block the wheels in a situation. Without this, your car still brake normally. You can make... Um, okay, so that's that would be all. So I take note all what I have to say so that you can at least understand it because iba kasi pag sinasabi. So ngayon magtatagalog ako mamaya in the car. I'm gonna show you how to brake and use the ABS. And see you again. 
Hello again! Now we are in the car at magtatagalog ako sa so ipapakita ko sa inyo kung saan ko makikita yung ABS na sinasabi ko kanina. So, okay, mag-start ako ha. Isa. So, dalawa palang click yung sasakyan. Tatlo is starting na. So, okay, again, ulitin ko. One, two, ABS na dito kasi nag-pop up at nawawala din siya. So, nawala siya. Pero, at least my car, it means it's active. So, all the signs here in the dashboard is a car checking. It means you have that in the car. So, pag nag-start ako, foot brake muna ako ha. Mag-start ako foot brake. So, nag-start yung sasakyan. Tingnan mo lahat na wala. Yung naiwan na lang is ang uh, fasten your seat belt at park kasi nakapark pa yung sasakyan ko. So, okay, safety first. Hello, so nandito tayo sa sa, 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 sa? Nandito tayo sa car ngayon. So nakikita niyo na kung saan yung party makikita yung ABS. Pag nakita niyo yung ABS sa uh, dashboard niyo, it means your car is active. Pero pag off naman siya, parang hindi mo siya nakita dyan. So it means your car don't have the ABS. But pwede mo siyang uh, pa-check sa car dealer na na-mention ko na kanina. So yun lang. At saka alam niyo naman kung paano mag foot brake. So medyo madilim dito. So, madilim siya. Hindi ko siya maipapakita. Pero sa previous video ko, alam niyo naman kung saan makikita yung foot brake ninyo. Full first brake lang talaga. At huwag niyong bitawan. Halimbawa, may na-accident sa harapan ko. So, kailangan talaga natin mag uh, first brake. Kasi wala na tayong time para dumiskarte na kumaliwa or kumanan, lalo na pag-traffic. So, ang gagawin natin is foot brake, then you can still steer your car steer your car. So, foot brake talaga, hard. Huwag mong bitawan kasi nagba-vibrate yung sasakyan mo. Pag ginawa mo yan, nag-vibrate siya. So, hanggang huminto yung sasakyan, naka-hold still ka lang talaga. Pwede ka mag-steer ng kaunti kasi yung car mo is nag-steer pa rin. So, yun lang at sana-sana may natutunan kayo naman sa driving natin. So, Mas simple na driving technique ito. So, ang masasabi ko lang, not all the fast driver is always the best driver. Kailangan kasi is safety. Safety, din matatawag ka na the best and the better driver. And again, see you for the next video. Hello! So, naipakita ko na sa inyo kung saan makikita yung ABS. Bitsa.